All right, if you're just now joining us, my name is Rain Augustine, and I have the pleasure of being joined by Dr. Peter Ching Chong from the University of California, San Francisco. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, Rain. How are you? Great. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. So a new and more infectious variant of the coronavirus has been reported in the United States after it was initially discovered in the UK. So as a medical professional, should people be concerned? People shouldn't be concerned for some reasons and concerned for other reasons. So there's good news and bad news. The bad news is that you're right, Rain, it's more transmissible by as much as you know, 50% more transmissible. But the good news is that the vaccines will likely work. I'm pretty sure of that. The second reason is that our uh, intervention like masks and distancing and washing hands will work as well. And the third is that, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's not going to cause more severe disease. This variant is more transmissible. It's stickier, kind of like Velcro, but it's not gonna make you sicker. President-elect Joe Biden recently announced his national vaccine rollout plans. Who is eligible at this time to receive the coronavirus vaccine? Well, the issue, Rain, about eligibility of the coronavirus vaccines in the United States is very variable. So it's confusing to people. I think the easiest eligibility group are the original tier 1A, which is healthcare workers on the front lines and nursing home residents and staff. The next level is variable, and that's where the variety comes in the United States. In general, in some areas, it's above 65 and older, and in other areas, it's 75 years and older. So we've heard today, for example, that in New Jersey, they're thinking about eligibility for smokers, period. But most places are just doing an age cutoff. Now, this has been a very stressful time for Americans and I'm sure the medical professional as professional community as well. What is the morale like for medical professionals right now? The morale is so low, Rain. I wish I can say everyone was smiling and happy. Uh, and California is generally a very kind and, and, and generous and happy place in the healthcare setting. But I can tell you that I've been on last week and everyone is very grim. Uh, there are no smiles, people are exhausted. It's kind of like a slow uh, paper cut. It doesn't really hurt tremendously at the moment, but over time you're getting more and more paper cuts and you're just bleeding. And I, I feel that's like the morale in the healthcare field. You talk about coronavirus fatigue. People are really tired. You know, we've been social distancing and trying to stay safe for a while now. So as we are towards the end, hopefully as vaccines begin to be distributed, what advice can you offer? What is the sil silver lining here? So the silver lining is that, you know, like you said, Rain, the vaccines are reality. And I know people have been worried that the rollout has been very rocky but we've been focusing on these two vaccines, but there are a lot of other vaccines in the pipeline. The j and J, I'm I'm really psyched about because it's just one shot. Novavax is coming and AstraZeneca and Oxford are still uh, playing a role in much of the world. So that's a huge silver lining. The other silver lining is it's that it's getting warmer and our most risky people in the community are being protected. So what will happen over time as it gets warmer, as it approaches spring is that you'll see communities reopen again. And I think that's really hopeful. Dr. Peter Ching Chong, thank you so much for joining us here on News Now from Fox. Thanks so much, Rain.